What up, I'm your girl Masika from The One Radio, and tonight we are at the premiere of Free Word. I am so excited. We're gonna talk to so many people. We're gonna get some pictures, some fabulous cocktails and conversation, and have a fantastic night. So come on and see what's going on. What to do, everybody? It's that man D. Wayne at the film premiere for Free Word Moment of Impact. We want to thank y'all for coming out and supporting, coming out and people. Just being honest, like Gilmaya and Nikki taught me. Time money. Your girl Miss Nika, and you already know this is the premiere of the movie Free Word, and I am standing here by with one of the fabulous talents tonight. My girl Glow Dizzle in the Hizzle. What up, everybody? How y'all doing? I'm doing so good. So tonight, what are you doing tonight? Because you could do everything. So what are you doing? I'm doing a poem. D Wayne asked me to come out and do some poetry, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. All in white, blacklisted, blackballed, black male. Slaves to society in so many ways, so short counted out and always outnumbered, at least in any category of any concern. Spoon fed the ignorance of the street that only sucks them in to chew them up and spit them out into a system that rehabilitates no one but serves to perpetuate the problems of the past. This white collar, whitewashed world neither cares nor understands their plight. It was, it was exciting and fun and. I like being able to work with D because he lets me voice my my own creation and my expression after looking at his script. We're the children of the slaves, we're the blood, not talk back, and slip around people, you not see it, it's a shackle of the Congratulations, that man D. Wayne and Sam. I am dry even off a piece of paper again. Staring at the pen that fuels my addiction. I swear I communicate better after a few verbs are written. My behavior has become a little more irrational now that I no longer have poetry to drain up the thoughts of my brain to drain up the words that to me to drain up the walls of my mother to drain up the words bouncing off the walls of my brain saying you were nothing that I thought you'd be. I give you back to God's hands. But now his return delivery has bloody wrists and a swollen tongue from biting down words that couldn't be licked onto paper. Man shall not lay with man like he does with woman. Woman shall not dress in male garments. Words written down once in the Bible, but a thousand times do I used to be my book of poetry, my book of expression, my book of secrets until it was ripped from me. It was never supposed to get in their hands. I didn't mean to hurt them. I didn't mean to hurt them. I didn't mean to hurt them. I didn't know they would overdose on what is the truth about me. I so, what do you do before the movie starts, after the movie's over, in between any breaks? You get the hottest DJ in San Antonio, baby, which is who I happen to be sitting next to right now. This is DJ Alley Cat. What's up, baby? Go DJ Alley Cat, you know what I'm saying? Free world premiere. 30 years in this, you know. I'm very professional. Just because you don't see no turntables. Very professional. They killed Martin Luther King, but it's not because he spoke up. You know, he woke up from that reality gene. They killed him when he finally woke up. 
And that's why they like this unknown. Cause Mac them a little nittle. And that's why they got us popping X. You see the Xanax is not about the clip pop. They keep you brainwashed with free words and they call it hip hop. Free! Collectively. And that's what's Black awesome essence. when we own stuff. Right. You got Black owned film production company, radio station, right. artists, uh, poetry events, like coming together to make things happen. This is what it looks like. Yeah. I it's, love it. It's networking, it's empowering, and it's connection. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what's something that we all care about. And that's really uh, something that D Wayne is really passionate about. And with this movie, he's trying to put out this message of empowering the voice, never putting a cap on it, never locking it down, because when we empower our voice, then we can get to the heart of the issues that are concerning our neighborhoods and socio-politically, economically, all these things are impacted by us giving our word. of black boys different, creating chaos. Police scanners often confuse what we look like with vague descriptions because if you don't know God, you don't know us.